Hello, this is Danny for Web Seller Circle, and today we're going to look at three tools that, when used together, will produce high quality digital stereo podcasts. The first is Pamela Pro. It records Skype calls in stereo with each speaker on their own channel. You can download it from www.pamela.biz. It costs about $25. To set up the stereo option, either click on the call recording icon or go to Tools, Call Recording, and then click on the Additional tab. Again, the simplest thing is just to click on the call recording icon right there on the toolbar and then select additional. Either way, once there, you want to click on the radio button for save sound in stereo mode. This is the crucial step for this whole process. This is not selected by default, so you have to go in and select it. When you're done, click OK. Now let's open a typical mono recording in Audacity. To do this, go to Project, Import Audio, and then just choose the file you wish to import. All of the speakers, whether 1, 2, or 100, will all be on this one track. And if the volume differs greatly between speakers, you'll have no option but to go along and correct each speaker individually. This can be extremely tedious, and it's also very hard to get right. Let's compare that to what would happen instead on a stereo recording where each speaker is on their own soundtrack. So once again, we'll go to Import Audio and pick a Pamela recording that was made in stereo. As you can see, there are now two tracks, and each speaker is separate on their own track. This makes it possible to correct an entire track at once, either bringing up the volume or lowering it. As you can see from watching the VU meter, the speakers are also recorded in stereo, so that each speaker will appear on either the left or the right speaker. Now, when you're editing the audio track, you can make edits by cutting out spaces on both quite easily. But if you want to make just one speaker muted, it's impossible to do. What you have to do is come over to this drop-down arrow and then select Split Stereo Track. This will give you two separate, although synchronized, tracks, and you can work on them independently. Now, remember, you're just working on one track, so don't try to edit something by cutting it out, or your tracks will get out of sync. Rather, if your speakers have spoken over top of each other, go to Generate Silence and just mute that part of the soundtrack where the second speaker steps over the, the first. If you need to go back and do bulk editing again, just reverse the process by going to the drop-down list and choosing Make Stereo Track. Highlight what you want to delete, and then delete it, and everything remains in sync. This is Danny for Web Seller Circle. For more tips and tricks like this, please join us at www.websellercircle.com. 